Hey, how is everyone doing? Hope everyone is doing really good. It's Cindy from Cindy Lou Stitching Corner here on Floss Soup. I do want to apologize. I know I haven't been on and I'm really sorry. Um, just had a really bad month and I just didn't feel like stitching, didn't feel like talking, didn't feel like doing anything other than going to work and having to do what I had to do. So I took a month off because I just did not have the energy to get into um, to come on floss tube and pretend I'm happy when I wasn't so but I'm okay now I'm back so uh, I'm good for now <laughs> um, we are getting into the summer my children are almost done school uh, my daughter's gonna be in grade 12 next year which is a grad uh, so I'm very happy for her happy for us it's been a long haul um, and with my dog, uh, my son, he's going to be in grade eight. So, and usually with the summer, there are a lot of changes and I can't get a lot of stitching time in. So I'm not too sure what kind of a schedule I'm going to have even in the summer, but hopefully I'll have time to come on and show you uh, what I've been up to if I was able to get any stitching in. Um, I did decide to do Mania. Um, I didn't start Mania until May 14th. So it was halfway through the month I thought, well, I'm going to start and give it a shot. I had thought about doing 31 new starts and just catching up, but that didn't work out. So I'm going to go over and show you everything. Um, you may notice that I am in my own craft room. Yes. Pretty happy about it. Um, it's not quite done, so I can't really do like a tour yet, um, but maybe in about a month. Um, I just have some things I gotta straighten up, put away. Cause along with my stitching, I love to collect um, paper products, journals, traveling traveler's notebooks, uh, stickers, washies, just, I love paper products. I just love everything about it. Pens, pencils, markers, coloring pencils, like you name it. So I have quite a selection over there. So like I said, once I get my you know, once I get some time, um, I will definitely get this going and uh, I'll, I'll give you a little tour. Um, I do have my Daryl Dixon um, Walking Dead poster over there and uh, it's nice to look at while I'm sitting and stitching. And I do watch uh, my Apple TV with my Netflix and my floss tube already hooked up on that. So this is a nice little room when I just want to get away and I just want to come in here for an hour, just not be bothered by cats or dogs or kids, husband. I come in here and I sit and I stitch and I watch a show for an hour. Usually for me, I'm oh sorry, usually for me that that's my time. And I'm like, gotta go. <laughs> Before I used to sit out in the living room and stitch, but sometimes that gets so chaotic with the cats and the dog running through. And so I love that I have my own room. Um, I've been wanting my room for a long time. What happened with my daughter? She moved downstairs. We have a bedroom down there and she's down there in her room. She's got the whole rec room to herself. Her friends have been coming over. They have head downstairs. So worked out good for her. Works out good for me. Happy mom. Happy house. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, everything that I started after May 5th, 14th. Yeah, I've got my list. Um, I lost a little bit of, uh, how shall I say, oomph <laughs> at the end. So some of these, I didn't even get them done. So, but I will show you what I had planned. Um, so yeah, so we're going to start off. This is started on May 14th and it was the Be Thankful from Be Humble, Be Kind, Be Thankful All the Time from the Stony Creek. Really like that one. Not a lot of progress done, but I did get some of the words in, along with the bee and the flowers and just the little bottom. So that is just done on a 14 count white Ada. Then the next one I did was on May 15th and it was Holiday Blues and it was Joy by Ursula Michael. Really cute. And I did that. Didn't get a lot done. This is just a 14 count white Ada. Just a little top of the, the little owl there. Mm, cute. 
I really like her projects. I like this one more. Um, I mean, I like the words, but I don't know. You can only do so many of those, I find. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Um, so next I did was Dragon Dreams, and it was called To Trim a Tree. I just put them in these little filing thing. I really like this one because the beads are strung up like garland, and it's super cute. Um, oh, and I would, <clears throat> I know that this is about stitching, but just for one minute, I need to do a soapbox. I hope it's okay with you guys. So, just for one minute, okay? <laughs> How do I even start this? What happened in London was horrific. Pissed me off to no end. The idea that some Jagoffs would think that it's okay to go to an Ariana Grande concert and actually do some damage and, and suicide bomb yourself when it's full in an arena full of kids and young kids and parents. You are all disgusting. That's not nice. That is just beyond imaginable. That's just evil, right? Evil. And then even after that, there was still some more horror in London. I'm just completely outraged. Um, I'm very thankful to live in Canada. Very thankful. I think Justin Trudeau right now is doing a good job. Um, another thing that pisses me off is that Justin Trudeau was on live with Regis, or oh my gosh, Regis, live with Kelly and Ryan it is now. Justin Trudeau is our prime minister. I don't care what he looks like. To be honest, yes, he's hot, but enough of that. Get over that. He's been in this position now for almost a year. Get over it, okay? When Kelly's like, oh, how does it feel to be, um, how does it feel to be the sexiest politician? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're gonna ask the leader of my country because of what yours look like? I'm sorry, but stop with that like enough and I mean how can you imagine how he feels every interview he goes to when he's being asked like how do I look like come on enough anyway enough of that I'm done with my soapbox um, I think that people should stop doing that to him he's our prime minister enough <laughs> you know like yes he's hot he's very cute but he's more than just his looks okay <sighs> so box done and furthermore no I guess I'm not we should all love each other and treat each other with kindness I'm so tired of this hearing about ISIS what are they trying to accomplish they're just stop like love each other be thankful for this world that we were given to live in you know stop trying to blow people up and ruin people's lives we all just want to live peacefully and Yeah, we just want to live peaceful, a peaceful life, you know. I want to take my daughter or my son to a concert and not have to worry about I might not come home. Like, give me a break. You know, I'm very thankful that I live in Canada. Very thankful. Um, and Kelly, you should be ashamed of yourself because he's way more than what his looks are about. You know, like, just stop. Okay, sorry. I have really had to get that out. This is my channel and I love talking about my stitching, but sometimes I got to stick in one of those little political moments. Um, and I have been watching the US. I've been watching uh, a lot of news and what's going on over there. And I wish you guys nothing but the best and good luck. So back to stitching. This is my first time that I'm using these scroll rods and I really like it. It's tight as a drum. Um, I really like it. It took me a bit, unfortunately, to figure out how to actually put the fabric in. <laughs> but I did, and I'm enjoying it so far. So, um, yeah, and that's just this little bit is all that I got done. So, yeah. Sorry about the soapbox, guys. Just had to be done. Um, the next one I started was on May 17th, and it was Cricut Collections, and it was February. And... Where's that? 
here we go. Um, it was February because February is my birthday, my birth month. So that's the birth month. And I have to say that this on the back, that little bicycle, that's super cute. If it didn't have the pattern in it, I'd take that out, but I can't do that. So for that, I started on um, just a pink um, 14 count Ada. Uh, just the upside down heart and then just a little bit of the U started. Uh, power still not on. What am I going to do? Can't stitch by candlelight. It's going to be dark here soon. Next was done on May 18th and it was Stardust Fairy. And this was this one here. It's a free pattern from DMC. Love, love, love the purple. Just doing this on a 22 count Monaco. And that is all that I got done. So not very much. <laughs> but it's a start. That was on February, or February, May 18th. Another one from Dragon Dreams, who I love Dragon Dreams. Where did that go? I was supposed to have all these organized, but oh, here we go. So this is called May Summer's Magic Never Fade. I'll take that out. That is it right there. Super, super cute. Um, the other project that I did with her, she had some fuzzy stuff. I don't know if that black is fuzzy stuff or not. But decided to do this on an afghan so that I could hang it up. Um, highly doubt I'll have it done before the end of the summer because summer is summer. It's crazy. Um, but this is where I got it going on this one. Uh, yeah. So just a bit of start on that, just working on the sand. I really love working on this type of material. Um, I'm going to show you my little faux pas. Um, I had started a Precious Moments on the other side, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I stopped. You see that? I might keep it going and then just have two patterns and then just flip it over. But this is the one with the, um, the little boy, and they were married. They just got married. Um, I guess I got just halfway through done and I'm just, I just, uh, stopped. But I, I mean, I don't know why, because I got a lot done. I'm not sure why I even stopped it. Mm, maybe I'll pick that side up and then just, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um... Then next, after that, I worked on the Needlework Shop. And this is by Country Cottage Needleworks. And it's that one there. And I'm just doing this on a 14 count. Um, it's like a off-white. And I just have a little bit done. Just mostly worked on the part of the window frame. I can hear my dog. She's out by the door. She's not coming in because every time she comes in, she gets in trouble. So I'm not going to show her today, but I can just hear her out there. Um, so that was done on May 20th. Um, and that's where I get kind of wonky. Um, what is this? Oh, yeah. The next one I was supposed to do was chocolate, never started it, and I can't seem to find the pattern. So, <sighs> where did it go? Listen to me rustling around, driving you guys crazy. Um, I really don't even know where that one is. Oh my goodness. Did I keep it in here? Ugh. I don't think I did. No, this is real life, folks. Real life. Oh, 
Is that it? No, no, no. I <sighs> don't know where it is. Anyway, I know I showed it, and if I find it, I'll show it. So that was supposed to be done on May 21st. That didn't get done. I was going to work on Paris from Satsuma Street on May 22nd. Uh -uh. London, May 23rd. May 24th was New York. It was a bad week. Um, yeah. And, you know, to be honest, that's pretty much all that I got. Um, yeah, I really... Because then after that, I got into my little funk again. So that is pretty much all that I got started and worked on. Um, I actually was looking around on the internet um, halfway, and I found an inspiring... I've always wanted to have a tattoo. My tattoo is always going to be a semicolon. Semicolon basically means that it represents the end of, what am I trying to say? I've always wanted to get a semicolon because it represents to me when I could have ended a sentence but I chose not to. So. Basically, what it means is that I am the author of my life, and the sentence is my life. So, the semicolon is used when an author could have ended a, ended a sentence but chose not to. So, semicolon, to me, means that I got to keep moving and keep going. So, I found this on stitchingthenightaway.com. Um, this is a free pattern, so I don't have the pattern I left it out in the living room. But you can go onto her site, you can download it. She's got some really good patterns in there. Um, it's a free cross stitch uh, pattern and you're welcome to share it with a friend. And she says she actually encourages you to share this pattern. And you can uh, just click on link and put it on uh, Facebook or Twitter. For me, I choose to put this on my blog as well as now show it here. So, uh, it's done by Loretta Oliver. Um, so basically it's just to, for me, just to work on it, just to keep me going. And I mean, I would never go to that extreme, but sometimes, you know. Anyway, um, so I chose to do this in, on just like a little 14 count, um, 14 count Ada, which is like a blue. So I did get story and is. I hope you can see that. Um, I was doing it in like a variegated DMC floss, which is right here. And unfortunately, I lost a little number because of my cat. So I'm not even sure which color that this is, but I will find it um, when I go back. It's got bits of um, bits of red, bits of blue, bits of green. Just love it so because this is my own I wanted to do it in that so it's a really cute little project that I'm enjoying and we still have no power um, so that is about it um, again I'm really sorry I just didn't have a, a lot of stitching time done but since there's no power I'm just gonna go out and stitch and hopefully it will come back on uh, hope everyone has a good rest of your day. I will try to come on as soon as I can and show you some updates on my other projects that I'm currently working on. Um, I pulled out the Alphabet Star Wars by um, Clouds Factory. I need to keep working on the uh, Frosted Pumpkin stitch, stitch along. Um, kind of fell behind on that. Um, I do have... Oh, I'll show those to you later. I had some other starts for Mania, which I might start, but I'm not sure because I don't want to overwhelm my, some, myself because I don't want to get to the point where I don't want to stitch because I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to stitch, so I might just leave it at that and keep going. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Keep stitching. Keep having lots of fun and uh, be well and be kind to one another. Um, sorry, Ellen, I'm stealing that from you. Uh, 
hope everyone is safe and uh, happy and yeah thanks everyone for stopping in i hope you stuck with me promise that i'll try to be more consistent and i'll update my blog but again it's summer so which i'm very happy about <laughs> all right guys have a great day bye